Soil testing. Is it necessary to have a soil test in order to have a nice lawn? The answer is no. If you want to get on your way to a healthy lawn and be making applications this weekend, all you have to do is download my app called Yard Mastery, and in just five minutes, you'll have a semi-custom program populate that is based on grass type, cool or warm season, location, and soil temperature. Now, following that program will give you a healthy green lawn, and depending on the time of year, you could see results in as little as 10 days. Lawn care can really be just that simple. However, I realize that there's another group of you out there who like to dig into the details a little more, you like to optimize your strategy and based on data, that is where your soil test can be super helpful. So this is the Yard Mastery Soil Testing Kit and it was created specifically for homeowners like you and me. The results, they populate right inside the Yard Mastery app, which is free, and when your results come back, the app will create a custom fertilization plan based on the results. All of it starts right out there in your lawn. Now this is one you might wanna grab your kids and do because it's a lot of fun, and with that, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do when you get your kit is on the bottom, there's a QR code. You're gonna scan that, and you're gonna download the Yard Mastery app, and if you want, you can just go to, the, to any of your app stores or the Google Play Store and download the Yard Mastery app, or like I said, use that QR code. That's the first thing you're gonna do, get yourself all registered in there, because all of your results are gonna populate right inside the app. We're gonna go ahead now and open up the kit, and you're gonna see your instructions here. And also, this is a return mailing envelope, so you wanna just keep that to the side. It's pretty windy out here, so I got bricks. Kinda of keeping everything weighted down for me. Also that you have in here is a scoop we're gonna use later. Nice little scoop there. And then you have this little, what is this, a colander, a capsule, I don't know what you call this. It's got a capsule in it. This is deionized water here in this little cup and there's a capsule in there. So we're gonna put all that to the side for right now. And we're even gonna take out these guts. You should read all this stuff because it's gonna teach you about the app and, and, and kind of go through how to do it. But I'm also gonna show you here in this video. But what we really want at this point is just this empty box. And then we're gonna go pull our soil here in a second. And you can do it by using one of these soil probes, which we sell on the website. Now these are handmade in America, so they are a little expensive. But this is one of those things you'll get one time and you'll hand it down to your kids for their soil samples one day so that's kind of cool but if not you can just use any old spade shovel or i have a trenching shovel here so i'm going to show you how to get the samples with either one so with that we're going to go to my neighbor's lawn because that's where we're taking our samples today and we're going to actually show you how to do it all right so before we take our samples people ask is there a best time of year to do that and the answer is there's two rules to follow number one is you should not have applied any fertilizer product to the lawn in the previous 45 days so nitrogen potassium phosphorus those three numbers on the bag None of that be applied in the previous 45 days because that can change what your results are. And then the second thing is you have to actually be able to pull a soil sample. So if your soil is frozen, then no, you can't sample at that time. But wet, cold, hot, dry, doesn't matter as long as you can pull that core sample and you haven't applied any FERT in the last 45 days. Now, this lawn here, my neighbors, we have a small front lawn. We have two side lawns and a little bit larger back lawn. I'm going to take two to three samples from each section of the lawn. And the way you know about the sections is in the app, you can actually measure your lawn and segment it out into logical sections. And that's what you do. You take two to three samples from each one of those sections. If you have a section that's a lot bigger, maybe you take four or five samples. If you have one that's smaller, one or two is fine. You get the idea. We're gonna go ahead and mix all the way around. With that, let's go ahead and start taking our samples. All right, so you can see I've got my probe here and it's lined out. This is four to six inches already there for you. All you gotta do is just work it down in, get it past the thatch, all the way down. And you wanna push it all the way to the soil surface. This is St. Augustine grass, so it's a little thicker and taller, but that's all the way down as far as it'll go. Then you give it a twist, because that's what helps you grab your soil, and then pull it out. And there you go, you can see we've got now soil all throughout. So what I'm gonna do is grab the soil from here, from there to there, that's my four to six inches. I'm gonna put it in my, my box here. You also wanna do your best to keep grass and other material out. We're gonna go through this in a minute, but it's best to go ahead and keep it out now if you can. So there we go, just squirt that out of there. You can see this soil here on this side of the yard is very wet. All right, now we're gonna go get some more samples and the rest of the lawn. Okay, so the probe is great. You can see it makes it easy, but I'll show you how to do it with just a regular old shovel. This is a trenching shovel because again, that probe is not necessary. So all you want to do is remember, you need to get four to six inches down. So you're just going to kind of dig like a circle. 
trenching shovel works great because it cuts right through the stolons in this St. Augustine grass. All right, so now we got that circle all cut out there. Now all I'm gonna do is just pop it up. All right, so you can see if that was down in there, there's four to six inches right there. You could use a tape measure, but you're just basically measuring from the top of where the grass is or top of the soil down. So I'm gonna grab soil from this section right here. All right, pull the more organic material out and the roots, we'll do this more again later. But I got my sample there. Maybe you wanna grab a little bit more, that's fine. And then bury this back. Good as new. Okay, so I've got all my soil samples here. And now another question people are gonna ask is, do I need to do a separate test for the front and the back? And the answer is no. Typically, your soil isn't gonna change from the front to the back. And in fact, it's not really gonna change anywhere in your entire neighborhood, meaning all of your soil in the entire neighborhood should be pretty much the same. So no need to buy an extra test. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I do have quite a bit of green material in here. There's also some roots and dead material. So I'm gonna just gonna sift through and take as much of that out as I can find. Also, what I'm gonna be doing at the same time is I'm gonna be breaking up any clumps. Uh, you might've seen in a couple spots, we have a little bit of clay here. This is Florida and we have sandy soil, but we're right by the Manatee River. And so we actually have a lot of clay that's been pushed up in this area, as well as when they dig out the drainage ponds that you see in the shots, they dig out clay. So we do have some clay soil here, but I'm just breaking up any large chunks. You can see this is pretty wet. Again, I said, that doesn't matter. Wet, dry soil does not matter. It's not gonna change anything. But we just wanna get as much of that dead stuff out of there. Dead material, grass blades, roots. So take a little bit of time. And that's why I said this is fun to do with your kids. You know, dig in the dirt, see what you find. But get in there and, and make it a challenge to get it as clean as possible because that organic material that's in there can change the sample. Now, if a little gets in there, it's fine. It's pretty normal that that'll happen, but you do your best to get this soil as clean as possible and get any green stuff or brown roots out of there. All right, so I've done my best to sift everything out and you could do this all day and keep finding stuff. So it don't have to be perfect, but you know, do take some time and do it. Now you also get this little scoop here and what that's for is you're gonna fill up that nice clean dirt that you have that's been all mixed around now and you've gotten as much of the organic stuff out as you can and you're gonna fill that up. You don't need to pack it down necessarily, but just get a nice scoop in there. Pack it down a little bit. Got that ready to go. Now I've got a scoop of good fresh soil there now i'm going to take this this is deionized water in here i'm going to go ahead and take the top off of this and in there is a capsule and that capsule is where the magic happens it's actually going to absorb the nutrients from the soil actually i see a little piece of organic material right on the top there so when you pour this soil in there it's going to get in that deionized water and release nutrients which that capsule will absorb and then from there when it gets to the lab, they extract the nutrient loads from that capsule. So there we go. Now you don't need to shake it or anything, just let it go there. And then the next thing you wanna do, and this is super important, is you wanna take a picture of your kit number. It's right here on the side of this little capsule, and then it's also right here on your instructions because you have to use that number in the app to register your kit, which is the next thing you're gonna do. So just take a picture of that kit number so you don't forget. You always have a, a record of it. And now you're gonna go into your app and you're gonna actually register the kit using that number. It'll start with YM. You're gonna register that in the app. Once you've done that, now what that's saying is, this is gonna be tracked all the way to the lab and all the way back. So you'll get updates all along the way telling you it's at the lab, it's in process, it's done. And that's why you wanna register that in the app right away. Last thing you gotta do, is we got this handy dandy little first class postage. You don't have to put any postage on this. It's already ready to go for you. So you just open that up. Again, double check, make sure this is toit, which it is. Put that in the postage paid envelope. Go ahead and seal it up. Write your return address on there and throw that in the mailbox. Now I always put a little extra sticker on there because these are my friends at the lab. So that's my little touch that I do right there. But there we go. Now you can just send that off and in about six to seven days, you'll have your samples back. And then in another video, which will be linked in the description here, I will show you what your results look like in the app and then how the app gives you a custom program and what all that means. 
So with that, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Go ahead and get your samples in, get them mailed off, and I'll see you in the lawn.